What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. Today is a watch day. We are gonna go and check out Ball Watches at my watch in Corona Del Mar, California, because you guys, after the last watch video I did, said, let's see those balls. Wait. Ah, oh, what? Dude, that's my spot. Knock, knock. Hey, Adam. What's How up, dude? Doing? Good, how are you, dude? Pretty good. Yeah. All right, so let's get into these ball watches because after the last video where we came in and checked out all of these Seikos, you guys said you wanted a full video just on the ball timepieces. Now, I've got to admit, Ball is not a watch company that I know much about. I did do a bit of research this morning just so that I know a little bit. However, everything that we're gonna look at here is gonna be brand new to me. So, to give you the brief cliff notes on the company. Oh, and actually, before I do, Ivan was just telling me off camera that he has a screaming deal on these watches that he wants to do for my subscribers. So if you do like anything that you see here, make sure you hang around till the end and we'll give you the information on that deal because you will not want to miss it. So Ball Watches was a company that started back in the late 1800s by a guy called Webb C. Ball. He was a jeweler and he did do some pocket watches. He was also involved in the railroads and the company kind of came about out of necessity because there was a really bad train crash back in the late 1800s in Ohio where a fast mail train actually collided head on with a passenger train. And the reason that it happened is because obviously back then there was no radios, there was no way for them to communicate. So they had to try and do everything off of time. And apparently the engineer, his watch stopped for four minutes. And so when he checked his watch to see how long they had until this fast mail train was coming through, he thought he had more time than he did. He thought he had seven minutes, then he had three minutes. And basically what happened is they didn't get off the track because it was a single track. They didn't get off the track in time. The two collided head on, people died, it was awful. So the head honchos at the rail line actually challenged Web C Ball to come up with a way to make sure that all of the timepieces being used by the railroad workers were kept absolutely to the second accurate. And so what he ended up doing was creating railroad standard time and a series of criteria that any watch that anybody on the railroad had to use. And furthermore, they had to take their watches every two weeks to make sure that they were all keeping time and they were only allowed to be out by 30 seconds over a two week period. And this was back in the, the, the very early 1900s, late 1800s. So the criteria were things like it had to be a white face. It had to have Arabic numbers, which is the actual numbers rather than Roman numerals. The actual face itself couldn't have a cover on it. So it couldn't be a pocket watch that closed up. It always had to be visible. It had to be between 43 and 46 millimeters, I believe. So there's all these things that he put into place. And so there was the Ball Watch Company and he then started to make these pocket watches that would meet railroad standard time and the specifications. And then the company has just grown and grown and grown. And now we are left here with Swiss made beautiful timepieces uh, that are now no longer pocket watches, but are in fact very, very nice wristwatches. And that is what we're here to look at. So there you go. There was your brief history of Ball Watches. Uh, I read that on Wikipedia this morning, so I don't profess to be a professional here, but <laughs> what a great it's, history, good, it's good it's to good. know like, well, you know, how it happened. So if you don't remember Ivan, if you haven't seen the first video, well, this guys. is Ivan, ladies and gentlemen, and he is going to show us these watches. So well, what have we got first? I'm going to show you uh, the engineer, Hedrick Carbon. This one is a uh, beautiful watch. It's all made of stainless steel and sapphire crystal. Does it have the date on it? Does it have the GMT? This is one of the uh, limited edition watches they do. Okay. And look at the class, Adam. This class is beautiful. It's very nice. Only isn't it? ball have it. This is the design, and also have the, the plumbing buckle here, like you unclip oh, it to stand it for the. Oh, I remember. Suit. Yeah, yeah. You did you? show me yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. I really like so that. So this is this is a beauty because we have micro gas tubes inside. Okay. So and the night they will light up like really bright. Oh. And that is a uh, tritium you know, tubes, tritiums, right? Yeah, tubes on it. They're almost like 25 of them inside and just light let up. Let me see that. Uh, I get the light, light here. Let's see. Boom. Super Luminova uh, light on it and then micro guys cool. tubes on it. That's awesome. It's so really yeah, nice. with tritium, uh, whereas most watches require some sunlight to yeah. charge them up, tritium is always charged. Yeah, so we'll always charge that. Oh. They give you a warranty for, it should last about like 20 to 25 years. Wow, that's yeah, interesting. So that's really, really good. And all the watches, I mean, they're made in, in Switzerland now. Okay. So they have the best um, 
uh, quality in the metals. You can see yeah. the edges on the metal. Oh yeah, I mean this whole thing is beautiful. Yeah. so nicely put together. And Goodness. this one is actually the limited edition. So this one was done for a one of the pilots, right? Yes, one I of forget the pilots, his name. Uh, is this lead driver that's the name of the watch aerial gmt sled driver uh, yeah yeah so it's really nice this is number i had the number uh, 300 like 300 something, something 321 321 there you go yeah of uh 1990. Okay. so this is a limited edition timepiece beautiful bezel nice case it's good looking yeah yeah it's really a great like. history you know about the ball watches you know uh this one is a commemorative or not commemorative but it's a watch for a pilot who apparently was in a, an accident and got burnt or something and then uh they didn't think he was ever going to fly again and he beat all the odds and ended up flying the blackbird which is obviously the fastest airplane ever made flies on the edge of space and uh so this watch was to commemorate that gentleman and uh everything he did which is kind of cool that's quite cool that's yeah. really, really nice the other one is the roadmaster gmt day and date this is a uh, really nice titanium and a steel so we kind of got the awesome. the batman and the pepsi <laughs> yeah right the colors huh it's got the let me take this plastic out so you can look at the bracelet how beautiful it is a little shiny over there you got titanium That's super gorgeous. lightweight yeah uh the plane class which is really nice now all the ball watches they have international warranty on it okay uh you can you know we got trizular from ball uh, all our product comes from Switzerland, so that's why you okay. see all the packaging and all that. Yeah. You know, it's well packed. I mean, it's got the plastic, you got the little thing. This is interesting. So this one, I've never seen a chronometer with the pushers on the left side. Well, this is not a chronometer. Oh, yeah, it is uh, It's a GMT, so you, it's a quick oh. setting. Oh. You press it. Do you have to unscrew it? You do it. Let's see here. Did I do it here? There you go. You got it? So you're moving it quick for the time zone. Oh, yeah. Like if you're at LAX right now, it's 1 p.m., it's two hour difference, you yeah. move it. So you just with click this it one. and it'll just move one hour each yeah. time. Oh. And then if you want to go backwards, you just unclip this one and screw it, and then you can go. Oh, back. that's cool. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> Speaking of GMTs, yeah. you, sir, need to find out about that specific GMT that I've asked you I about. know, I yeah. know. We will. We will. I have been looking that's for a <laughs> very special watch. It's it's not Rolex or anything like that. It's uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but there is a watch that I think is pretty much like the perfect watch for me. Um, and it, uh, all nice. I will tell you is it is a GMT. It is a GMT. A GMT it, stay tuned because I might, I might end up with a, with a new watch at some point here. Anyway. And I like the designs. I like how kind of simple they are. Very easy to read. Obviously that railroad standard time inspiration there. This one wouldn't pass railroad standard time because it doesn't have uh, numbers on all of them. It only has them on the 12, the six and the nine. So Mr. Ball, Web C Ball would not have approved of this for use on the railroad. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and that's why it's the road one and not yeah. the rail one. What's this one? This is the other one, Roadmaster Chronograph. Road, okay, so this one yeah, is a chronograph. This is yep. the one, have the chrono, have the locking chronograph, like when you lock oh. in the crowns. Okay, so yeah. this one has a really cool feature. Uh, let me see how I can do this. Because I want to show you guys something. So we've switched roles here. Okay, so this has a really cool feature that I've never seen before on a watch, and I actually did learn about this very recently. So this has a pulsometer, and if you don't know what a pulsometer is, it is a measurement of pulse, literally your pulse. And so I'll do a cutaway shot so you can see this, but it says here, graduated for 15 pulsations, and then there's a scale around the edge. And so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to reset the chronograph to 12, you feel your pulse, and then you hit go. And then you count 15 pulses. And once you've counted your 15 pulses, then you stop the chronograph, and you look on this top scale here, and it will tell you how many beats per minute your heart is going. How cool is that? I, I had no amazing. idea Me that that existed. No, and yeah, this has really it, cool. thank you very much. So yeah, this one actually has that built into it. I never knew that that existed. So this one is uh, grade, graduated for 15 pulsations. Some of them are graduated for 30, so you have to check, obviously, otherwise you'll get the wrong pulse rate. But yeah, what a great little feature. I mean, I don't, I don't know how often you'd use it, but it's cool that it's on there. We actually have a question about this as well that neither of us know the answer to. See if you can help us out. Do you see underneath where it says ball right here? There is what looks like a Pokemon ball. It's like a half and a, oh wait, no, no, it's moving. 
some of that. Yeah, is that like a second? Okay, so what I was going to ask you, this right here, if you can see it, under where it says ball, um, it's a white dot and then a black dot, and it kind of moves, but it looks like it might be moving with the chronograph. Maybe it's just seconds, honestly. Maybe once the thing is wound, it just does the seconds. And it's just a visual seconds counter. Let me know in the comments if you know what that thing is. I think that's all it is, just a little visual seconds counter. Also, the other one I was gonna show you is the Engineer M. This is really nice. This is a limited edition to only make 1,000 pieces. That's gorgeous. Yeah, Sapphire Crystal, Exhibition Back. Um, they make the movement at home. This is all Swiss made. Also, you can see the movement on the back on them. He it's makes beautiful. the movement at home. In a home. In a home. <laughs> in the factory. In, in the Switzerland. factory at home. But, sit in a you home know, it's home to someone. <laughs> Imagine they're working with, with drinks and stuff. <laughs> That's my kind of watch company. <laughs> and check that out. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. That's very cool. Tradium tubes. So this is much more, I mean, the fact that it's called The Engineer, this definitely harks back to their days uh, on the railroads. So you do have the Arabic numbers that they require, obviously being a wristwatch, the uh, um, crown is at the three o'clock, not at the 12, but that is still a very Snapper. nice traditional looking one. That's gorgeous. I oh, love the color of this beautiful. dial. There you go. And you see the, the RR right there, railroad. So that's that standard railroad time. That's what the uh, the two Pretty R's nice mean way. right on the back there. So this the engineer. What's this one called? This is the engineer M. This is uh, the train master. Okay. It looks it looks like a pocket watch. It does. So right? this this is almost identical. So, so cool. I saw a 1905 pocket watch from Ball, and this looks very very similar. So yeah, this is probably as faithful as you're going to get to a reproduction of a original Ball without it being an actual pocket watch. I really like that. Very thin too. Lovely dress watch. You could hide that under a shirt cuff, no problem at all. How much is this one? This one is uh, three thousand and ninety nine dollars. Okay. This is three thousand ninety nine. This is thirty five hundred. Okay. This is limited edition piece. This is uh, you know, it's got GMT on it. Three time zones. Yeah. That's what moves around. Yeah. And then you have the hands as another time zone, and then the the blue hand is another time zone. So yeah. Three time zones. Then also you got a. Uh, Chronograph train master. This one over here is uh, the road master. Actually, this is uh, 2,600. Okay, so they're all uh, in and in and around that sort of two to yeah. three thousand range. How much is this one? And also, I have another one. Uh, this is uh, two thousand. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Because there's no complications. No to complications this one. or nothing. This one over here is 3,700. Uh, oh, okay. This is a little bit more. So this is the most expensive. Yeah. And this isn't limited edition. This is limited edition. Oh, it is. Don't okay. One thousand pieces. Yeah. Oh, okay. That explains yeah. it. But you got the, the, the tubes on it, marble mm -hmm. light, this limited edition, one up to a thousand pieces. Got it, got it. Okay, well that's, and I mean, this is a great price range because I know this is a lot more expensive than the Seikos that we looked at the last time. You know, these are all in that sort of 200 to five, 600 range. Yeah. But if you are looking for a very nicely made watch with a lot of heritage, then this is very, very reasonable. This is Ooh. the Fireman. This is, this is a nice. fireman from a ball, yeah. This is uh, also had tritium tubes, uh, sapphire crystal, and this one on them is a thousand dollars. Really? Yeah. Holy, I did not expect you to say a thousand bucks. A thousand bucks. Hey, can you hold that for me one yes. second? Oh, wow. Look at, look at that. Yeah, screw crown, sapphire crystal. Wow. Uh, I have another one. I will show you right now on them. They have the, the dial, like the AP. Oh, really? Dial. Yeah. Do you have it? This, this one. Ah, uh, here, this one. I don't know. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. With the, like, the textured <laughs> yeah. dial. The textured dial on it, yeah. Yeah. It's really Hit me cool. with that light. Let me see that. Yeah, let's see. Boom. Boom. Yeah, so this one is uh, $14.99. Okay. So $14.99. Uh, they changed the dial. So they have it a little more clean. A little more like a textured dial. Do you know what? I actually think I prefer the white dial. It's gorgeous, the cheaper huh? one, yeah, yeah. It's clean. The band is really high polished brush. Yeah. This is really clean, really nice. Wow, I did not expect you to say a thousand bucks. I really? thought this would be yeah, fifteen. <laughs> they they just at least fifteen hundred. Yeah, 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 yeah. Enough. yeah. yeah. They just they feel so yeah. good. Yeah, do and ball. I mean, they really the value, the quality is really really amazing. Yeah. When we got clients coming in to look at it, I'm like. Man, this feels really good. My, yeah, you know, this, yeah. Is, this is nice. It's a good band. Well, I mean, this this company's been around for 140 100, years. Yeah. 
it's amazing. Yeah. And they're all big histories. I mean, if you look at the the videos, you know, what they have, what they put on it, a lot of pilots, people, a lot of divers, okay. a lot of explorers around. They, they, they wear their watches and they're really tough. Yeah, so yeah. they're a good, good brand. Yeah, there they are. Um, I have the Engineer M. This is 1750. I love the second hand, the little... What is that? The, the RR. Yeah, that is the, the railroad. railroad. Yeah. 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 So on the back it, of the... You might not be able to see it on camera very clearly, but on the other end of the seconds dial, it says RR for that railroad standard. Here, take this for me one second. Yeah. Zoom in on this. And that's yeah. a great uh, case because the cases on vault are like around like a 40 millimeter. They yeah. use 41 millimeters. And then they use a 43 millimeters. 43? Yeah. Wow. That's the biggest. Yeah, I mean, they, they feel so nice. Mm -hmm. They're just, they're, they're such solid watches and the bracelets are just so buttery. There's no play side to side. They're just super smooth. That's gorgeous. And how much was this one? This one right here is uh, 1750. 1750. My favorite is the cheapest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm changing. <laughs> I never pick the cheapest <laughs> thing as my favorite, but that that one really is like that That's is so so nice, right? That is Look my at favorite. the crown too. They do the engraving on the crown RR. Oh yeah. Uh, they do uh, a strong crown, and you can see it in the water. And then also the engraving on the back is just nice. What they do, they do the engraving. Uh, they put the they do a little engraving on the train. Yeah, yeah. Color railroad, so yeah. it's really nice. No, I love it. I love it. So I'm seeing some bronze ones here, or brass. The what bronze, is that? Bronze are really nice. Uh, all cases made in bronze. They have uh, day and date. We're gonna pull this one. Okay. This is uh, this is really unique, really different. If you want a bronze watch, it's really cool because uh, with the oils, you know, they change, you know, color, yeah, yeah. you know. So they got like a nice. patina yeah. to them over time. And I've seen it, you know, I've seen it from our clients that come in, they walk, they have a bronze watch. My first instinct is like, hey, let me see your watch. Yeah. Because they change the color. Uh -huh. So it's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's really, really interesting. I mean, I I like the style, you know, this is brown casing instead of steel and gold. Yeah. Uh, this one is uh, 2700. Okay. It's made of steel, it's around crown, brown case. Got a, got a hairy plane on the back, yeah. not a train. Yeah. yeah and nice. yeah, that's beautiful. The other one that we have is the, they call it a skin diver. Skin Diver? Yeah, okay. this is really popular as well. This is uh, ceramic bezel, sapphire crystal. I like uh, it. Look at the band, look at the, the style, the casing. Yeah, so it's um, nice and thick. You've got this, uh, is this called a coin yeah. edge bezel? Yeah. I think it is. So this is very reminiscent of like a, uh, a deep sea, like a Rolex deep sea yeah. or one of the Seikos. That and then you lovely. got this one and then you got super luminova bezel, mm -hmm. tritium tubes inside. So that would be all day, like yeah. all night, you know, like beautiful. Yeah, I like that. There you go. It's very, very simple, but, and how much is this one? This one is going to be uh, 20, 2950. 2950. Yeah. Does this have a helium escape thing? No, it doesn't, does it? No. Like some of these with the thicker cases, you know, they sometimes they have, have the, the helium escape valve. We're running out of space. Can we get another, <laughs> another thing? I, know, right? we, I have a bigger one. Okay, I, I perfect. What's this one here? Uh, is that engineer the... Hadrick Carvin. Okay, so that is the normal version of this one. Yes. Okay, so let's take this over here. So, you remember? I don't know if I showed you guys uh, last time where you pull uh, this one to set the time and Let me you see. push that one. And then you can set the time and date and then so screw it, it in. And then you. Uh, push back oh, push wow. this one then unlocks it oh yeah yeah you did so yeah. if this one doesn't go all the way in that's mean your crown is not safety for going in the water ah. so you screw it in and then you push it in and that's locked nice so like a, a little extra yeah. check so yeah we've got the limited edition right here and then this is the standard which one are you picking guys let me know in the comments are you doing the uh the sort of kind of a pepsi or are you doing the batman both beautiful though, aren't they? I Chip. see something with a moon face. Yeah, that's the ladies moon face. And absolutely. a pearl face. Uh, let's not forget about the ladies, gentlemen. Let's not forget about the ladies. Look at that dial, mother that, of pearl blue. I the love these face. mother of pearl dials. Let's try and get it over to the window so you can see this. Wow, that's gorgeous. I love that moon face too. 
And how much is this? This is. Uh, Do you know this one? Yeah, I sold it. I sold one last time. Twenty-two hundred dollars. Twenty-two. That's now. Uh, also, before we point it out, all the watches uh, they have with the uh, international warranty plus a year warranty from my watch. Okay. So if it's anybody purchase a watch, it comes yep. as a warranty on it. Oh, perfect. So if someone was to buy one of these from the UK, can you ship internationally? We do, yes. Can you, you can make can it, they, people make have it to pay happen. for it, but yeah. you can do it. We can do it, yeah. Cool, there you go, guys. If you really want to support Ivan yeah, and order a watch from him, then he will ship it to you no matter where you are. Let's see. Yeah, nice. they all glow perfect, don't they? Gorgeous, man. This is also another limited edition piece. Okay. Uh, I just got in. Uh, the same as this one. This is a beautiful dial. Uh, the bezel. So these two. Ceramic, are, yeah. These two are twins. But this one's limited edition. Yeah. How this, many? Those are only like a thousand. It looks, it look, it's, I mean, it's, it's thicker, beautiful. but it's beautiful. Look at the yeah. bezel. I know. The, I was just noticing that. Just and turn, the turn glasses, that over. racing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah so sapphire look, crystal. Look at the crystal. Race on it. Yeah, look at this bezel. It's got these like, little notches on it. And then the other cool function on that one, uh, before I forgot them, I was gonna, um, you know, when you're using your, your chronograph, like let's say you're using it right now. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna do a little movement too. So it's going, right? Yeah. So sometimes for accident, if you, the climbers or people who's diving or anything, they sometimes you can press that yeah. automatically. So this one has a function, you can lock it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so it's no like way. It. Yeah, you can't accidentally. It's gonna accidentally press it. Oh. So that's unlocking crown on. That's cool. So you don't you don't have to worry about screw it in. You just can lock it like that and jump in the water. And even if you forgot about it, don't worry about it. Yeah, you can still yeah. wear it in the water. Oh. Beautiful. Well, thank yeah. you so much for showing us. I mean, these are some of the other ones. So if you guys are interested, all of these will be on the website. Now, my watch is my local watch shop. I first met Ivan when I needed some links taking out of a watch. And when I came in and saw everything, I was like, we should shoot some of these. So, you know, I'm trying to help these guys out by showing you the watches they've got. Uh, if you want to support them, then that would mean a lot to me and it would obviously mean a lot to them. So if you are in the market for a watch, then uh, definitely give them a shout. And uh, should I tell them the deal? Yeah. Yeah, let's end the deal. So if you guys are looking to buy a ball watch, first of all, most importantly, you have to be a subscriber. So they will ask you to send proof that you are a subscriber. So no cheating, no subscribing and then emailing and unsubscribing. We're almost at 100,000. So if you aren't subscribed, I would appreciate you just clicking that button. It doesn't cost you anything, but it means a hell of a lot to me. So number one, you have to be a subscriber. Then you just email them. It's info at mywatch.com. Uh, hold on. If you don't CDM, I would have got it right. <laughs> I was just giving Louise crap because they wanted my watch, but someone already had my watch. And so they got my watch ST, my watch store. And I was like, you're in Corona Del Mar. Why didn't you do my, my watch CDM? Anyway, never mind. So if you want a $300 discount on any ball watch you see right here, then you have to email them info at mywatchst.com and send them proof that you're a subscriber to me, let them know what watch you want, and they will fire you back with a discount code that will get you $300 off any one of these ball watches, which is a screaming deal when you consider that there are some watches here that are only $1,000. So you're getting a beautiful watch for 700 bucks, or you can get something like this. What was this one, 2,700? That. No, 3500 This is a big boy one. There you go. So there you go. You get uh, that, that one price, for, You get $300 uh, off, yeah, man. Get $300 That's a great deal. Off. So yeah, if you guys are interested in that, then um, all the info will be in the description. Um, but yeah, these watches are beautiful. And they've definitely, you've definitely opened my eyes to, to this brand now. I had no idea just how yeah. nice they were. This GMT, I like this one. This one's nice. Um, but like I said, I am looking. There is a very special GMT that I've got my eye on that I... Yeah, and Ivan's on the lookout for it. Um, so I like that one, and then I also like the cheapy. Where is he? There. Uh, the this one. Off. Yeah, the thousand so dollar. Nice. Just look at that. Just so slick. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. All right, cool. Well, mate, thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you, you for showing me the pleasure. watches and all the time. Thank you for all, all you guys. Guys, there is a lot of other watches here. We have uh, what's this one? Shinoloa. Shinola. Sh Shino Shinola. See, Shinola. I know nothing about watches. Like I said, I am a professional amateur watch reviewer. That's what I am. So Shinol Shinoloa. Shinola. We got yeah, Tissot, Tissot, we've already, Bulova. actually, do you know what? We haven't done Bulova. We did a video where I bought this, but we haven't actually done 
Because look at all these plastic oh, things. Oh, yeah, we I have mean, many styles. They're wild. Okay, well, look Next. at that one. It's got diamonds on it. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, yeah, so there's lots of watches we can do here. There's Luminox, there's Tissot, there's... Oh, yeah, we need to get into Anonimo. Yeah. So if you guys didn't see the video where we discussed this, Anonimo is like a Panerai sort of spin-off. So the guys from Panerai, some of the guys from Panerai ended up making this, and they've got a lot of, like, stylistic similarities, but for a much lower price range. So there's lots of opportunity here. Let me know in the comments which one of those brands you would like to see next. And we will come back in the next couple of weeks and we will talk about those watches. Uh, I think that's it. Anything okay. to add? Hey, oh, no? Just thank you for everything. Oh, thank you, Adam. You're welcome. Thank always, you. We do appreciate this is, it. This is always, you're always welcome. welcome. This is your house. Thank like you I very much. All the time, anytime this is your house. And do whatever you want to take with you and try it and wear it for a couple of days, you can do that. <laughs> okay, don't tempt me with a good time. All right, guys. Well, look, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. That really helps. Go and check out my watch. I'll put all their information in the description below. Get that $300 deal if you are interested in buying a ball watch. And until next time, most... Oh, wait, and subscribe, obviously. And until next time, most importantly, don't know anything I wouldn't do. See ya.